Hi guys, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. It's been a while, I haven't done an intensive lesson. I did songs, a few songs uh, recently, but today is going to be a language lesson related to pronunciation. Lebanese Arabic language lesson related to pronunciation. We will talk about how to pronounce feminine words finishing with a te marbuta. You know that words, when they finish with a te marbuta, they are 100% of the times feminine. They are never masculine. But in Lebanese Arabic, sometimes we pronounce this as a A sound before the te marbuta, and sometimes we pronounce it as a E sound. Even if the te marbuta itself is silent, we don't pronounce a T sound, but we have to pronounce right before, the letter right before the te marbuta always sounds like a A or E. You will find out why and you will create with me a list of the words we pronounce as a and the list of words we pronounce as a. And actually here on the side you can create a table like this and you can uh, maybe, sorry my, my drawing is bad, but you can draw here you can write a and here you can write a and here under each table in each column you will write the letters the, in which we pronounce an A and the letters with which we pronounce an A. Okay, for now just go grab a piece of paper, a pencil and everything, your notebook, whatever. Draw this table and yalla, let's begin. So, with the first set of words, I wrote, oh by the way, this in this lesson you will learn a lot of vocabulary. Really, just this is like a bonus thing as well. The words that you will learn, there's so, so many words in this uh, in this lesson. But mainly, let's learn how to pronounce these words, okay? So, I'm going to read the first word. Faj'a. You see, I'm not saying faj'at. I'm saying faj'a. Jir'a. Mar'a. Kafe'a. So, you hear me? I didn't say faj e jir e mar e kafe e. What does this mean? The words that have a hamza right before the te marbuta, we pronounce them as a a. Faj a, suddenly. Jir a, jir a is courage. Mar a, woman. Mukefa a is reward. But remember, all the words that have a hamza before the te marbuta. You pronounce that te marbuta as a a sound. Faj'a, jir'a, mar'a, mukefa'a. Let's go to the next set of words that have an alif right before the te marbuta. In this case, you cannot find out 100% of the times because sometimes we pronounce the alif as a e and sometimes we pronounce it as a a. For example, mubarat, mu'anet. You see here, I said mu'anet, hayet, qanat. So this was a, 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 mubarat. It means uh, uh, the, the game, but not, not any game. No, like basketball game, football game, that sort of game, okay? So that's mubarat. Mu'anet, yani suffering. Hayet, yani life. Qanat, yani uh, a channel. By the way, only when it comes to words that have an alif before the te marbuta, we actually even pronounce the te marbuta as a t. Okay, we can, we have the option of doing that. So, mubarat, you can also say mubara. In standard Arabic, they do that more. In Lebanese Arabic, we say mubarat, mu'anet, hayet, qanat. So, here you can maybe make a note that with the hamza equals the a sound with the alif you can put equals mm, it depends both okay yalla let's look at the next set of words these words have a b right before the te marbuta you notice so let's read them ghebe la'be khashbe rutbe let me tell you what these mean ghebe is a is a forest or a jungle, ghebe. Le'be is a toy. Khashbe is a piece of wood or a wood. Rutbe means uh, humid, something that is humid. It's an adjective, humid. So look, I said ghebe, le'be, khashbe, rutbe. So what can you say here? The ba 
equals the e sound. Okay, so all the words that have a b right before the tema buta, now you know that you can pronounce them e, not a. Let's go to the next set of words. Oh, okay, this one I wrote it twice. I don't know why. Let's go to the words that have a t just before the tema buta. Nikte, nabte, meite, manhute. Nikte means a joke. Napte means a plant. Maite means dead, or the feminine. Uh, in the masculine form, we say mayit. In the feminine form, we say maite, a woman who is dead. Or it doesn't have to be literally dead. Maybe, for example, if I say to someone, Ana maite alek, I am dead over you, which means I die for you. I really like you so much, or I love you so much, you know. Maite, dead. And manhute is a, um, how do you say, like a, that piece of art that you carve in, like the, the, the statue that is carved, manhute. Okay? So, nikte with the e, napte with the e, maite, manhute. So now you know that the te, the letter te, equals the e sound. Okay? Yalla, let's continue. You know that in Lebanese, maybe you don't know, let me tell you. In Lebanese Arabic, this fa sound, a lot of times we pronounce it either as a T or as a sin, S or T. Let me tell you. For example, I wouldn't say ker fe, I would say ker se. Mlawa se. Here, I'm not saying je se, I'm saying je t, and here, tle t. So, ker se is a disaster. I'm still pronouncing it as a. Kerse, mlawase, polluted in the feminine form, mlawase, something that is feminine but it's polluted. Jitte is a corpse, dead body, jitte, tlete, three. So you see, with the th, it's always the e sound. Kerse, mlawase, jitte, and tlete. So you can write here, th equals e sound. Yell, I'm gonna keep going. We have the next set of words with J, 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 You see, so with the letter J, we always have an E sound before the te marbuta. J, J is a chicken. J is annoying in the feminine form. J is a wave. J is a result. Memorize these words as well, okay? So press pause every now and then, write the meaning, create a list of words with, with their meanings in English so you can also memorize them later on. Yeah, let's go on. This one is the letter ha. I'm just going to write ha for now and I'm going to put an equal and then we will write either a or a here. Let's see. Ma se ha. Sbe ha. Ra ha. Ri ha. Okay, so now we know that the letter ha gives a, a sound to the temor buta. Maseha means distance. Sbeha means swimming. Raha yani comfort. Riha yani smell. Maseha, sbeha, raha, riha. Yal, I will go on. Khawkha. So this is the letter Kha, by the way. Khawkha. Tabkha. Batti kha. Sarkha. Okay, so what is the sound before the temor buta when there is a kha? It's the a sound. Khawkha is a prune. Prune. Tabkha is a cook. A cooked meal, uh, we call it tabkha, a cooked meal. Batikha is a watermelon and sarkha is a scream or a shout, sarkha. So, now we know that when there is a kha, we have to pronounce the a in the end, not a. So, I wouldn't say sarkhe, batikhe, no, never. All the words that have a kha finish with the a sound. Let's go to the next set of words, which is the letter DAL. I'm going to write the DA here, and let's see how we will pronounce it. DU, DE. 
سجد ارد وحدة. Mm, so it's an A sound. So all the words that have a dal before the te marbuta, we're going to pronounce it A, not A. So dude is a worm, that little animal, worm, insect. Sejede is a carpet. Sejede. Irde is a monkey, female monkey. And wehde means uh, number one, but in the feminine form, because in Arabic, when we're counting something, uh, when we're counting, counting number one, if it's a masculine object, we say wahad, and if it's a feminine object, we say wehde, one. But also the word wehde can mean loneliness as well. It doesn't only mean one. It also means loneliness. Okay, so as I said here, whenever the words finish with a dal right before the te marbuta, it should always be the A sound, not the A sound. Okay? Yal. I will continue. Now, we have the letter the. In Lebanese Arabic, this letter is most of the, t of the times pronounced as a, either a Z or a D. You can't guess until un, unless you know the word. But for example, if you want, if you're not sure and you see a new word and you want to make sure you're pronouncing it correct, of course you can pronounce it as a v. You don't have to pronounce a z or a d if you don't know the word. But for now, I'm gonna pronounce it. Tilmize, isteze, manbuze. So you see, it's a e sound whenever we have this letter that. So I'm going to put the A for now. Tilmize is a female student. Tilmize. Esteze is a female teacher. Manbuze is someone who is rejected or unwanted or not liked or, you know, you are not welcome. That's manbuze in the masculine form. In the feminine form, we say manbuze. Yalla, I will continue. The next letter is the... Re. Our R. R. This is also one of the letters that you can't guess if it's A or A. So it can be both. I have to tell you this, okay? But let's pronounce these words. Jara. Neighbor. Female neighbor. Jara. Banadura. Tomato. Ishre. It's the skin of something. Like, for example, the skin of an orange. You say ishre. And ibre is the needle, a needle, ibre. So you see here, I pronounced jara, banadura. But I said ishre and ibre. So it could be both. With this with this set of words that have a re just before the te marbuta, uh, you, cannot, uh, you cannot guess. Unless you know the word, of course. Yeah, let's do the words that have zain. Okay, the Z. Erze, Khibze, Kenze, Ramze. Erze, a cedar, a cedar tree. Erze, Khibze, a bread, a piece of bread. Kenze is a blouse or a top. Usually it's made of wool. We call it Kenze or a sweater. And Ramze is a wink, a wink like that. Erze, khibze, kenze, ramze. So you hear me? I'm pronouncing it as a e all the time. E e e. So I'm gonna put an e here. Okay. Yalla. Then we have the words that have the scene right before the te marbuta. The s. So madrasse, munefase. I just realized I forgot to put my microphone. I hope the noise, the voice is good. I mean, it's okay, but it's much better with a microphone, but that's fine. We can go on for this time, okay? So, madrasse, munefase, khamse, mahbuse. Madrasse is a school. Munefase is competition. Khamse is five. And mahbuse is... Uh, Locked or somebody who is in jail, we say mahbuse, they locked in. Okay, 
that's that's feminine in the masculine form we say mahbous in the feminine form we say mahbouse someone who is jailed maybe we say in english so i'm going to put a a for the letter c madrasa munafasa khamsa and mahbouse Yal, let's do the set of words that have the letter sheen, the sh sound. Let's see how we will pronounce them. Berg she, berg she, fara she, der da she, da she. Berg she is a mosquito. One mosquito, we say berg she. If it's many mosquitoes, we just say bergash, the general plural. Fara she is a butterfly. Dardashi is chit chat and dahshi is like when you're in an awe or like you're you know you're wowed by something or you're in awe maybe you say in English like you you go like that's dahshi okay so we are pronouncing all the time a a a with the letter sheen barakhshi farashi dardashi and dahshi Next set of words we have the letter saw. Let's see how we will pronounce these words. Rsasa, Ussa, Rasa, Rhisa. All of them are a, a, a. It's not a. Rsasa is a bullet. Rsasa. Ussa is a story. Rasa is a dance. Rkhisa is cheap in the feminine form, rkhisa. <coughs> in the masculine form, we will say rkhis. So now we know that when words finish with the sa, we pronounce uh, the sound a just before the temar buddha. Now let's look at the set of words that have a da just before the temar buddha. Bai da. Mu da, riya da, mu marida. All of them are finishing with the a ah sound right before the temar buta. So all the words that have the da, you can pronounce them as a ah just before the temar buta. Baida is an egg, one egg. Muda is mod or fashion. Riyada, sports. Mu marida, nurse. Baida, Muda, Riyada, Mumarida. The next words are the words that have the letter Ta just before the Temar Buta. Let's see how we will pronounce them. Mhatta, Nashita, Makhluta, and Salata. So now you know that words finishing with the ta just before the temar buta, we pronounce them with the a sound. Mhatta is a station. Mhatta. Nashita is active, but in the feminine form. In the masculine, we say nashit. In the feminine, we say nashita. Makhluta, mixed in the feminine form. And salata is a salad. Mhatta, nashita, makhluta, salata. Let's look at words that have the letter ta za just before the temar buta. Lahza, wa'za, mulahaza. We have to give them the a sound, never a, never mulahaze, wa'ze. No. Lahza is a moment or a second. Lahza. If you want to say to someone one moment, please, you say lahza bas. Waza is preaching when you're giving advice to someone or maybe when the priest gives advice in the church that's also waza. Mulahaza is a um, what's the word? Comment? Not comment like uh, how do you say it in English? Mulahaza. Remark, that's the word. Remark, comment or when you give a comment or a remark to someone. Lahza moment, waza preaching. Mulahaza is a remark or a comment. Now we will look at the words that have the letter Ain just before the Temar Buta. Let's see how we will pronounce them. Tis A Jim A Jim A and Sir A. 
Okay, so we are giving it the a uh, sound. So tis'a means nine, never tis'a, it's always tis'a. Jem'a, university. Jem'a, Friday. Look at the difference between these two. This is jem'a, it has an alif here. This is jem'a, it doesn't have an alif and it has a kasra. Jem'a is university. Jem'a is Friday. And sir'a is speed. So, tis'a, jem'a, jem'a. And sirra. So now you know that whenever there is a word that has a ain right before the temar buta, you will pronounce it with the a sound, not the e sound. Next is the words that have the letter rain just before the temar buta. Let's pronounce them. Lra, a lra, mubela ra, nebra, sabra. Okay. So now you know we have to give the a sound when there is a rain. Le ra is language. Mubela ra is exaggeration. Nebra is a genius. Sabra is a uh, die. It can be hair dye or the dye, like not dying death. No, it's like the, the coloring material, the dye. Hair dye, sabra. Okay? So, le ra, mubela ra, nebra. And sabra. Let's go on. Now we have the set of words that have the letter fe right before the temar buta. So let's pronounce them. Mase fe, ir fe, khafi fe, sakhi fe. So now you know that words finishing with the fe right before the temar buta, we're gonna pronounce the temar buta as a a. Masefe is distance. Irfe is cinnamon. Irfe. Khafife is something that is light in the feminine form. In the masculine, we say khafif. Sakhife is like ridiculous or lame. Sakhife. In the masculine form, we say sakhif to someone who's ridiculous or lame. Sakhif. Okay? Masefe, irfe, khafife, sakhife. The next words are the words that have the letter Qaf. Let's try to see how we will pronounce them. Masru'a Mikhtin'a Shi'a Bita'a So you know, in Lebanese Arabic, this Qaf is always pronounced as if it's a Hamza uh, the uh sound. But when it's followed by a Temar Buta, I never say masru a. I have to say masru a. Stolen, masru a. Mechten a. Uh, suffocating. Like if I feel like I'm suffocating, and because I'm a girl, I say ana mechten a. If you're a guy, you would say ana mechten. You just simply drop the te marbuta. Mechten a. Sh a is a flat or apartment. Bita a is a card. Bita a. So, masru'a, mikhtin'a, bita'a. So, all the words that have a qaf right before the temar buta, we have to give them the a sound. Let's see how we will pronounce words that have the letter kaf right before the temar buta. Samke, harake, barake, ma'arake. So it's the A sound. Samke, fish. Harake, movement. Barake, blessing. Ma'arake, a battle. Ma'arake. So anytime you see words finishing with the kaf right before the temar buta, remember to pronounce the A sound, not a. If you pronounce, for example, samaka, it's not wrong, that's how we say it in standard Arabic. But in Lebanese Arabic, we say samke with the e sound. Okay, let's go on. The words that have the letter lam right before the temar buta. Mm, let's see. Marhale, mishkle, jimle, hafle. Okay, let's see what they mean. Marhale is a phase. A period of time or a phase, marhale. 
مشكله it's a problem جمله a sentence حفله a party so we have to pronounce the a sound right before the t مربوطه when we have the letter la مرحله مشكله جمله حفله Now, words that have the letter MIM right before the T marbuta. Let's see how we will pronounce them. Asme, Sadme, Tarjame, Iqame. Okay, so we know now that we have to pronounce the A sound always whenever there is the letter MIM before the T marbuta. Let's see what these words mean. Asme is a capital, the capital of a city. Asme. Sadme is a shock. Terjame, translation. Iqame, yani residency. Asme, sadme, terjame, iqame. Now, let's look at the words that have the letter noon, n sound right before the temar. Joanne, Xene, Shitane, Muarane. Okay, so you know now we have to pronounce it with the E. Joanne is the feminine form of hungry. In the masculine form we say Joan. In the feminine form we say Joanne, hungry. Xene is a cupboard, a wardrobe, a closet. Shitane, That's naughty in the feminine form. In the masculine form, we say shitan. In the feminine form, we say shitane. Shitan also means devil. But when we say to someone shitan or shitane, we don't mean they're a devil. Of course not. Especially when we say it to kids, we say that like they are naughty kids. Shitane. Mu'arane. Mu'arane. Yani comparison. Mu'arane. Comparison. So, jo'ane. Khzene. Shitane. Mu'arane. Let's look at the words that have the letter he just before the te marbuta, the H sound, h. Nek ha, je ha, je ha, te ha, ile ha. So, whenever you have the he, the letter he, I will write it like this as well, so you, in case you got confused. So, that's the a sound. Nekha is the taste or the flavor of something, the flavor, nekha. Jeha is the direction, like which which way should you go, that's jeha. For example, if I tell you, min haydis jeha, from this side or from this direction. Min haydikis jeha, from that direction, jeha. Tefha, again, is someone who is lame or ridiculous or maybe shallow as well, tefha. In the feminine form, we say tefe, tefe. Ileha is a goddess. In the masculine form, we say Ile. In the feminine form, we say Ileha, goddess. Now, the words that have the letter Wow just before the te marbuta. I don't know why I, I'm using the orange color. Let's do it red. Wow, the letter Wow. Ehwe. Ehwe. Serwe, sorry, and Helwe. So you know now that words finishing with the wow right before the temar buta, you have to pronounce them as an e. Ehwe, coffee. Ehwe, siblings. Serwe, a fortune. And Helwe, beautiful or pretty. Ehwe, Ehwe, Serwe, Helwe. Let's continue. This is the last set of words. The words that have a ye right before the te marbuta. Let's see how we will pronounce them. Hiwe ye. Hriye. Mreye. And niheye. Now you know that words finishing with the letter ye right before the te marbuta. We pronounce them as e with the e sound in the end. Hiwaye, hobby. Hurriye, freedom. Mreye, mirror. And nihaye, the end.
the end in a movie we say nihaye ending or an end hiwaye harriye mreye and nihaye and i can say uhaydi nihayet dersna this is the end of our lesson haydi nihayet dersna so today we were only we were only explaining or pronouncing how we pronounce words that finish with a te marbuta if it's a, a or a, a next time i will do a lesson to explain to you when can it, it's raining and it's so beautiful the sound is so beautiful so next time we can do a lesson and i can explain to you when do we actually pronounce this te marbuta as a t as a t which which in which cases do we pronounce it for now remember that every time the word is on its own you don't pronounce the te marbuta the te marbuta is always silent but even if the te marbuta is always silent that doesn't mean that the letter before is silent the letter before always should have a fatha that is pronounced as a a or a e okay that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions as usual please leave them in the comment box below i hope the voice was good uh, without a microphone and if you want, you can do like a small homework. You can think of words that have a te marbuta. And you can maybe record yourself and tag me on Instagram at Globetrot with Arabic saying these words, pronouncing them properly with a te marbuta. Or maybe you can just record your voice and read like a paper. Or maybe even write down these words with Roman letters under my uh, video here on YouTube. At least I can figure out how you are pronouncing them. If you if you write them with the a with the a, I know that you 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 mean the a. And if you write them with the letter e and maybe like a line or even without the line above, I will know that you're pronouncing them as an a. Okay, that's it for today, and I will see you next time. Bye now.